Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Broken Windows 256. I'm your co-host, Shadrach Manano, here today with a guest, Nathan. Hi, Shadrach. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here, for sharing my, my pleasure. your time with us. Yes. I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about what's been happening all around us, all, right. all these things in, 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 in Russia and in the world. First of all, what do you think of the war? What do you think of the war? In my in my opinion, I favor Russia. You favor Russia? Yes. Ah, that's interesting. Why? I feel they're in the right. How? Why? Why are they in the right? Pretty much, they're being entrenched entrenched on. Ukraine mm. was part of Russia in the beginning. Mm. So, Putin's argument that <coughs> they're coming too close to them mm. is actually very fair. Because I mean, consider if you had enemies right at your border. Mm. True. You know? True. So, uh, but also, yeah. you agree with the standpoint of Russia? Do you think war is the, is, is the way you'd go about it? I mean, he's been put in a difficult position. Mm. Of course, war is never a good plan. It's never, it's never the end, end game. It's mm. never the result that you want. Mm. But I mean, when people get pushed to such a corner, they, they, they retaliate. They use their options. Mm. Uh, what, what do you think of the general mood uh, of people uh, towards the war? Is, do you think the way Africans see it, the way we see it, or mm. young people, mm. what, what, what do you think of the general mood? What, what have you been, been able to like I think tell? everyone is so disassociated from it. Cause, that is true. Yeah, yeah, it's happening in Europe. It's not affecting Africa as much. Mm. We literally just listen to it on the news. Actually, you forget about it sometimes. Unless, mm. And then you see the CNN and you're like, oh, it's actually war happening over there. And, you know? and, and the way it has been shaped up to be like it is a global thing. Exactly. And I mean, there are, they are European countries that are being affected, mm. especially like Germany, I can give an example, because mm. they're shipping so much um, resources to, 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 try to, uh, and help. to try and help yeah, yes. in the Ukraine. Uh, it's leaving their economy lacking. Mm. I actually have a friend in Germany who it was like he went to the supermarket and there was no toilet paper. <laughs> there was no those salt. are European problems, yeah, by the way. Yeah, those are European problems. Yes, yeah. but I, I get you. Uh, mm. Moving on to like wars, mm. uh, we've been speaking to a lot of our guests about feminism and wars, yeah. and oh. basically just putting it there as a premise. Uh, for you, what, what, so when I say feminism and wars, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Probably want women to fight in the wars. You want women to be part of. Uh, you consider women should be part of the fighting rather than just the men, right? <laughs> true, true, yes. Equality. yes. That's yes, pretty yes, much yes, what yes. feminism is. Yes, yes. But also on another premise, we also want to uh, bring light to male suffering that mm. people do not uh, sort of uh, recognize. Because yes. every statistic that you read about the war, women are being raped, uh, it affects maternity and all these things. And we feel it is, I personally feel it is very... Uh, What's the word? Unfair, mm -hmm. because men are dying, yeah. <laughs> and men get amputated, and men get affected the most. Yeah. Women only get affected because they get to live. Yeah. If you're dead, then you see. So that is a premise mm. of, of feminism and and, mm. and and the war and the wars. We want to find out, like uh, some of these ideas we have. I think probably they are limited in the sense that they don't apply to every situation. Yes. So, like, equality is okay here in the household, here in job, employment and opportunities, but when it's getting the backbone of who is going to protect who? Mm. It's always the men. It's, it's, yes. it's not always the men, but, but yes. yeah, the men are going to, be, going affected. to be affected. Yeah. So, knowing that, what do you have to say? <laughs> knowing this idea of us, yes. of, of our, our idea on feminism, what do you have to say? Do you, think, comes, uh -huh. do you agree at least, or do you disagree? I, I agree to some extent. Mm. Uh, there, was a, um, there was an interview that was on CNN mm. a, few days, a few days ago. Yeah. It, was of one, it was of a lady who was in Russia, mm. and she strongly wanted to be part of the war. Mm. She was like, this is, this is my country. I want to defend it. Mm. But because she had prior responsibilities, family, mm. children, and all of that, mm older parents you know mm. so she was the one who had to escort them out of the country mm. so she she actually said it like on live television she was like if i had the chance if i didn't have to take care of my family 
I will stay and fight. fight yes. Because yes. this is my country. True, true, yeah. true, true, true. So I, I think I think there are uh, quite a few people, quite mm. a few women who mm. want to take part. Mm. But because they're men, the men have been taken away. So no, now they're left. We don't we don't really my, I'm not really supporting the idea of people mm. taking part in the yeah. war. <laughs> I really want to look at what happens after the war and 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 where is everyone focused on? Because mm. if everyone is focused on we need to get the women and children out and all this. And then the men were just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the team made a joke with one of our guests earlier where he said, uh, sometimes we may get to a place where men have to now identify as women to avoid being part of wars. You get <laughs> it? Eh? To change, <laughs> yes, change yes, sex so yes, that they, uh, they yes, don't participate. Yes. Already. No offense to any transgender people, but you understand. Eh? I understand uh, yeah. Or like the other way around, that mm -hmm. should we now get the transgender women uh, trans the, 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 the transgender women, yes, yes to, to, to also take part in the war and all those other things. Mm. So that is the, the premise for that. Okay. Okay, but moving on, uh, I would also like to, us to talk about more uh, nicer subjects. <laughs> uh, talk about social happiness in Uganda, our society. What do you think makes people here in, in, in Uganda happy? What do we like doing uh, in, in groups? Because we had a few options. I think we're a nightlife country. Yes. People here like going out at, at night oh, yes. to see Mbude, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. And then some people really like to pray overnight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's also that. Mm -hmm. we, we're also very religious, religious Christian. Mm -hmm. Okay, not actually religious. I mean Christian, religious. Yes. Even the Muslims are very devout. Uh, and then uh, what is the other option? Yeah, basically uh, around there or some other way. Do you think Ugandans like to enjoy themselves? To enjoy themselves. Do you think we are readers? I, I think I think we're a diverse <laughs> community. I mean, mm. but yes, the, the, the majority of people either like to party, mm. and because uh, we're uh, we're considered a um, a Christian community, a Christian country, Com right? Yes, yes. Because we have the prayer, we have the day of prayer with mm. the seven and all of that. So, the amount of uh, Believers or those who mm. um, are religious is a large population. True, true, yeah. true, true. Um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you don't think we can be we can be defined any other way? Uh, well, yes, we can. But the public image that we have is is mostly that. I mean, mm. there was just a, we we're just talking with a, uh, a Tim mm. about the reports that came. Uh, from seventy, that was saying that Ugandans are drinking less. Yes, so, yeah. <laughs> only because we I don't mean, have money now. Yes, <laughs> if they give us I money, mean, we'll drink. I mean, such a statement, right? Mm. Straight, straight off the bat, it tells mm. you that's something that you know yeah, Ugandans yeah. are known for. Also but but known. but also marriages. Mm -hmm. That's also a, a source of social happiness. Yes, true. Ugandans mm. like marriage. Yes, they do. We're not like the French. <laughs> We're not like the French. <laughs> Do you think people I are think really happy in marriages? Would you be happy in, in a marriage? Where do you fall in all this? With, with uh, marriage? No, no, with, with the, the social happiness. Would you, like, what, what kind of person are you? More like outgoing nightlife? Uh, you want to settle down, build a family? Or of course, I want to settle down. Church? Down. Yes, I, yes I, I, I like to consider myself religious. True, yes. true. That's I am a Christian. Yes. I mean, everyone has their stumbles. I can't say I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot say that. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but you know, you still try. You try yeah, as hard yeah. you can. Like you mm. said, uh, God never gives up on people as long as you're willing to give Him the time. You know, He's got your back. So that is true and yeah. very powerful, mm -hmm. very powerful. But we'd like to hear about all you people seated at home. Also, what do you think about all these things we have talked about? Tell us in the comment section. Make sure to like, share, and keep bringing back all that love. Thank you. Thank you for, for being here, Nathan. Thanks for having me, huh? <laughs>